principles behind the FODMAP diet? Well, what FODMAPs are sugars in the, uh, in the diet that are poorly absorbed in the small intestine and have an osmotic effect, so they drag water into the bowel lumen and they are readily fermentable so they produce gas, so they distend the bowel. Now this distension of the bowel in people with irritable bowel syndrome causes uh, symptoms of uh, altered bowel habit, bloating, pain, and uh, so that if you reduce these sugars, these FODMAPs, then symptoms improve. That's the principle of it and in practice that's what happens. What factors contribute to success with this diet? Being taught the diet properly is very important and that's why it is a dietitian delivered diet that uh, uh, adherence to the diet and uh, learning about the diet is important because there are, while there are a lot of restrictions in the diet you also have to learn about the things that you can have so that you get a adequate, nutritionally adequate diet. What are the next steps for research? The next steps are really to look at what the, uh, the safety of this diet over a long period of time. When we change any diet, we've got to know about the safety. We've got to do more studies on nutritional adequacy. And we have to look at what happens, whether the diet actually changes the physiology of the bowel. And that has not been studied at this point in time. Only the symptom response has been studied. For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Sweet.